Big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we are checking out the brand new MacBook Pro, or the brand newer MacBook Pro, I don't know. Anyway, this is the one with the Vega 20 graphics in it. That's the one that I ordered, and we're gonna open this sucker up, see what it's all about. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get the knife out here, cut this sucker open rip open the plastic. I've been waiting a while for a new MacBook Pro, so I have high hopes. Let's get into this. Oh, didn't even take that much to open. But, yes, beautiful space gray. We'll set this off to the side for a second. Uh, obviously, we don't have anything special in here. We have a charging block, the uh, USB Type-C cable right here, and then, of course, we have our documentation, and my favorite, the Apple stickers. So I'll add those to my giant collection. I have a huge collection of Apple stickers. Let's move on here. Let's get all this junk out of the way. Fire up this MacBook, but first. That's really not as pleasing as like a phone. I don't know. Here we go with the MacBook Pro. We've got it all. Set up. Oh yeah, I forgot about. <laughs> Always forget about that little piece of paper in there. All right, so, and we have power. It just turned on by itself. So let's just watch her boot up. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, oh, and before I forget, the specs for this model that I picked up, I got the Core i7, 2.6 gigahertz. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM here, base model storage, and obviously upgraded to the Vega 20 graphics. So. Let's get into benchmarks here, but real quick, let me tell you about Squarespace. As we begin to enter the new year, it's a good time to think about a new side hustle. And if you've been looking to start a new business, Squarespace is definitely where you want to begin. Now, creating a website with Squarespace is super easy. It's an all-in-one platform for websites, domains, beautiful templates, marketing tools, online stores, 24 seven customer support, and more. I've actually been a Squarespace customer for years now, and I love how easy everything is to do on the platform. And I definitely recommend you check Check it out. If you're trying to get your business or website off the ground, do it now, make it with Squarespace and visit squarespace.com forward slash Dom Esposito to save 10% on your first website or domain. So let's jump into some benchmarks here. We have Cinebench opened up. We're gonna run the CPU score and see how this fares. Here we get a Cinebench score of 1032. Not too shabby actually. Like I said, if you want to see a comparison to my last generation MacBook Pro, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Next up, we're running Geekbench here, and we're gonna see how this performs. I expect all these basic benchmarks to actually do pretty well, but I'm gonna be running the Heaven benchmark as well, the stress to CPU and GPU on this guy. So uh, let's see what Geekbench has to say. All right, and as far as Geekbench is concerned, we're getting a single core score of 5,045 and a multi-core score of 23,732. So next up in the GPU test, we are going to be running the Compute benchmark in Geekbench 4 that'll spit out an OpenCL score and we can see how this stacks up. All right, so you can see here we have an OpenCL score of 75,297, but let's take a peek on how that compares to my previous MacBook. All right, so in comparison to the 75,297 score that we got for OpenCL on the new MacBook Pro with the Vega 20 graphics, over here we have the Radeon 560 and we actually got a score of 47,073. So that's actually a significant jump in benchmarks, about 30,000 points from this one that I have with the Radeon 560 with four gigabytes of VRAM all the way to the Vega 20 with four gigabytes of VRAM. Pretty good stuff, but let's move along to the Heaven benchmark. All right, we got Heaven installed. Let's go ahead and launch it and see what kind of score we can get here. Let's go ahead and run this at uh, ultra quality because I'm just curious to see what exactly this pulls off. All right, so we're running this at a resolution of 2048 by 1536 here on the MacBook, and we're seeing frame rates between 35 and uh, 40 to 45 FPS. I mean, that's pretty good given the resolution and the fact that we're running the quality on ultra. Obviously, the frame rate dips uh, depending on the scene here, but I don't know, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna be doing a long-term review on this MacBook Pro with the Vega 20 graphics because, I mean, this is my bread and butter, like editing video and stuff like that, and I know 
Uh, I've recently discovered that the iPad Pro is very capable of doing this, this task as well. So link below if you wanna check out that video. But this is the new MacBook Pro with the Vega 20 graphics and I'm super excited about it. I wanna know what you would like to see in my full review of this 2018, late 2018 MacBook Pro with the Vega 20 graphics. I gotta get out of here though because I got a dbrand skin to slap on the back of this guy. So let me know your thoughts and anything that you would like to know about this MacBook in the comment section below. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're the first that's notified when the review on this bad boy drops. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I'm Dom and I will catch you in the next video.